probably don't wanna fuck with me cause they know big lotto a three. I'm always on point, ain't talking in decks. Keep that made these bitches sweat. Nah, you don't gotta ask where I'm at. I'm always on these bitches next. Damn little bitch, you trippin'. We could've been superstars. Ooh, man. He's looking a little big. Anyway, what's up to my lavish gang? Welcome back to your Read it. Now, before we start this video out, I want to go ahead and state that I need all of my followers, my subscribers, and my supporters that are not subscribed because y'all be watching and then don't hit that subscribe button. Like, why watch but not subscribe? Help your girl get 1,000 subscribers. I keep telling y'all that. Anyway, so I'm in this influencer contest and there's a big prize at the end. So I need you guys to click the link in the description bar. Go vote for your girl. There's an option to purchase votes. There's an option for one free vote. Any option you choose, I am going to be happy with as long as I get your vote. In order to use the free vote, you do have to register to create an account, but you won't receive any of those nuisance emails. You just have to create an account to register so that they can make sure people are not using that free vote multiple times even though i'll be happy if y'all use because i know everybody has more than one email address so all you gotta do is use all your email addresses okay and subscribe and uh vote for your girl or you can purchase five votes for five dollars ten votes for ten dollars twenty for twenty and if you big baller fifty and a hundred okay i did make it to the second round um there are three four is First, second, third semifinal finalist. So I am in second place at the moment. But help your girl get to first place and get on to the next round. I need to get the round three, then the semifinals, then the finals. The girl gonna go to anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get to this video. We are making chicken tacos tonight. Okay, it is not Taco Tuesday, it's Taco Monday, baby. Taco Monday. So I have my chicken over here soaking in water and distilled white vinegar okay so i had chicken breast tenderloins and then some chicken breasts all mixed up and then i'm gonna go ahead and rinse them off and then we're gonna go ahead and season them okay all right now we are back out with our chicken our chicken is clean washed and dried okay so we're gonna go ahead and get the seasoning up our chicken we're not going to be using too much and i do not have any more onion powder like, what the freak all right so because we're doing chicken and not like beef grilled turkey we're not going to use this packet the normal way as it says unless you cook and do it we're going to season our chicken with this this is going to be our um seasoning agent we're also going to use a little bit of ground cumin some garlic salt i went to the i'm so irritated because i went to the market had the things in my head that i'm going to get garlic powder onion powder i'm gonna use pepper and i still didn't get it now we're not using a lot of those seasonings because we are going to be using the taco packet as well so now before i season this i'm gonna go ahead and heat up my cast iron skillet so just so that can be getting hot there so we'll take our brown cumin and as we all know i do not eyeball i mean i don't measure i eyeball okay I was supposed to have a little helper in the kitchen, but he's in a mood because his allergies are bothering him. And then I'm mad because I wanted to record this. This is about one, about three, three two thirds of the pack. That's what it is, two thirds. So that's just. Massage them in. Mm. Now I'm going to use my 
skillet only because of the way I want my chicken to be. Um, you know, like the um, street Mexican street tacos. I hate cooking chicken, especially when I ain't got no damn gloves. Just gonna continuously wash your mother freaking hands. Mm, look at that season. All right. All right, so this is our chicken. I'm gonna put this to the side, let it just sit a little while our skillet, our cast iron skillet gets hot. Then I'm gonna put some oil in here. I just wanted to, I want the skillet to heat up first, then I'm gonna put the oil in and let it heat up all together. So we'll be back. All right, so we got our skillet kind of hot. So I love um, extra virgin olive oil. So that is what we will be using today. Not a whole lot, but it's enough. Just enough to get it really grilled. To try to get that, um, the kind of chicken that I'm going for. So we're gonna now we're gonna let the oil heat up. Got some. I didn't feel like getting a whole onion, having to cut it up. So I already got diced yellow onion. And we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna grill those up as well. And we're gonna go ahead and get started on this chicken. So, once you put that chicken down in that cast iron pan, press it down to the to the pan so you can get that nice go um skin, get that nice crust on that chicken. No talk about my cast iron pan either. I know I need to take better care of it. I just need some tips on how to take care of this shit, like cleaning it and everything else. I know they say like. Don't put it in water because it rusts it out, clean it with oil, all this other stuff. But me, I'm like a little old CD. I'm gonna make sure my stuff is clean after I'm cooking it. Especially with raw freaking chicken. I'm sorry. And I have my heat on medium. I have my uh, Oven on, keep warm to keep the chicken warm because I need to. I have to. Um, I'm going to be warming up my tortilla shells on the stove. I don't know if I'm going to use my canton skillet. I might because I already got all that flavor from the, the the cooked chicken in there. So I have this taco style chichi for my family, and then I have <laughs> Nature's Promise organic uh, wheat tortillas for myself. <clears throat> I'm trying to be, I'm trying to eat healthy, you guys. I'm trying. It's hard. But anyway, that, that episode that just came on yesterday was some ghetto mess, okay? First of all, I don't know if Jocelyn and Ballistic are now pimping out Diamond and, I think her name is Raven. Is her name Raven? The fake uh, Luxie Blown. Cause that's exactly what she gives me a fake ass like she blow um <clears throat> because them two right there were going extremely hard for Jocelyn like she's like fucking them or something like she's tipping them the hell out which I think was so corny because Diamond came back with so like much um boldness in her out of nowhere because I do remember the episode where Amber whooped her ass. Like, whooped her ass. And now you're sitting here like you can be Amber. And I don't know if y'all heard Ballistic when he was like, I don't know if you want to do that. I don't know if you want to do that because she lived with me. And I know she'll fuck you up or something in that nature. Is what he said. So, I'm, I, I think that they are pimping them two out. And Raven was like telling security, y'all need to stop because she don't want us to leave her side. She don't want us to leave her side. And we're going wherever she go. Because they was like puppets. Literally. Wherever Joseph stepped, they was on her they was on her behind. They was right there. They was right there. I was like, oh, this is some bull crap. First of all, I don't know what female could do that show. 
Because number one, I don't know who the hell Jocelyn thinks she is, the way she talks to them women. Ain't no grown ass woman in her motherfucking mind about to be talking to me off the side of her neck like she's stupid. And all she keeps saying is, I gave you, I gave these hoes an opportunity. I put them on the big screen. Wouldn't nobody know them if it wasn't for me. Blah, blah, blah. And the last time I checked, the last time I checked, um, you, you got camera time from Stevie J. Nobody would have known you if it wasn't for Stevie and Mona Scott. Right or wrong. So, and one, I don't believe Jocelyn has money like that. I'm sorry, I do not. She might have gotten money currently from um, her song being going crazy on social media and so many people playing it. Because let's just be honest. Who the fuck listens to Jocelyn's music? Come on, be honest. If you really listen to Jocelyn's music, let me know. Because I know, I know you know. I know you know. Don't nobody be listening to that woman's shit. So, I just don't, I just, like, I, I, I just could not fathom the fact that them two were going so freaking hard. And not even just them two, too. Lollipop as well. But to me, Lollipop was not really on Jocelyn's ass crack like them two were. Um, what was the white girl's name? Was it Jordan? Yeah, it was Jordan. Even she was like on Jocelyn's side. Like standing up like she was going to do something. And baby, babies, we know you not about that life. And I damn sure did not like the fact that they were sitting over there trying to bully Riri. And Lexi Blow, Lexi Blow don't look like she, she did not look like she wanted to fight. And they just kept doing, they kept doing all that bullshit. Now what they was not doing was doing really doing all that extra shit to Amber and Kate Capri when security was not all right. Because y'all know y'all really got y'all asses dragged. And, and and I don't understand. Jocelyn, Jocelyn sat there with and every last one of them ladies' faces and told them to their face. I would F you up, I would F you up, I would F you up. So when Amber's calling you out for oh, a fade, she calling you out for a fade, and you're not going, you know you can't beat that girl. You know you can't beat that girl. She wasn't trying to go jump in or none of that. She respectfully said, come on, let's just do this one-on-one. -on -one. Me and you. Swear the fuck up. You talk all this stuff, you talk big shit like you can beat everybody in the world. Well, like I say, Everybody cannot. If you're a fighter, you're a fighter. But there's always someone who's better than you. Okay? At the end of the day, there's always a, always a fighter that is better than you. There's nobody in this world who can just beat everybody the fuck up. Not even Mayweather. I'm pretty sure somebody can beat him up. Let me stop before y'all be trying to talk on my ass. Because he backs anyway. That's not right. Boxing and fighting are two different things. But, yeah, anyway, like, there's no person in this world that can beat every goddamn body. Like, there's always someone that can beat your ass. I'm sorry. There's always going to be someone out there that can beat the next bitch's ass. So, I I just don't, I just, like, could not respect that about Jocelyn. Like, get that girl that face. She want that face. Get it to her. You scared? Are you scared, mommy? She's scared. She ain't gonna fight her. And this and this reunion was just like so trashy. So I just put my onions on, and I'm putting a little bit of um, taco seasoning on them just to give them a little flavor. Um, I did just a little bit. Let me tell you. I only did really just a little bit of with all them onions. Now let me turn my camera off. But, um, yeah. it was 
a mess. It was no dialogue at all. They could barely get anything across. Um, talk about any any topic because it was just too much shit like going on on that stage at one time. Like one person over here won't fight, next person over there won't fight. Like it was just a hot mess to me. I did not, I didn't like it, and like it was just corny, 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 corny. And I know that I know the um, producers and stuff were like heated that they were like that, but. Jocelyn brought that energy on stage. She came on stage starting that shit. And you always talk about this your show, this your show, this your show. Well, bitch, act like an executive producer. Act like an executive fucking producer. If it's your shit, act like one. Be professional about it. I understand people must have been taught, you know, people were running their mouth and stuff online. And this and the third, but that's what females do. What do you expect? But if you put yourself on this higher pedestal than these other women, act like it. Don't come on the stage. Oh yeah, that's the man, they the man hoes, or whatever she said. That's the they the man hoes. Why do all that? You bringing the animosity out there to get that shit routed up so you can get your five little pussies, your little clan, your little clique over there. Of the weak bitches, because that's really what they are to me. A bunch of weak ass bitches. Because at the end of the day, y'all ain't have, y'all ain't even have, y'all didn't have all that animosity and mouth and all that crap like that on the show. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't. So, I don't know if they snorted the motherfucking line with Jocelyn before they got out there. And that's why they had all the um, energy. I don't, I don't know because all right y'all so this is our chicken get into it get into it there goes our onions i'm gonna just go ahead and um throw this in the oven really quickly so it can stay warm uh my oven is on 170 that's to keep warm status so now we're gonna go ahead and toast up our um, out our, our soft shells or tortillas, tortillas, tortillas. Yeah, but that shit was so that 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 was so weak of that man to jump in that fight like that. So we're gonna go ahead and um, cause I don't want them to bubble up, so. Keep it flat. Flip it. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think if you think that man should have jumped in there to protect this woman, the, the woman who swears she can beat everybody in the whole wild world, or should he just broke it up? I I understand you not want your woman to get her ass whipped. I do. I get that. But she was doing a one-on-one -on -one fight. They were not jumping Jocelyn. So you could have just broke that fight up, tossed Amber to the fucking side, got her off your your woman, and stopped that shit. Like, no, it ain't going down like that. You know? That's how, as a man, I believe he should have handled it. Not rip that girl head out her head, break her ribs and punching on her like she a whole goddamn man. That was pussy, for real. I plan on eating about three or four tacos. So these, like I said, those are my tortilla shells. The organic ones. And then these are the Chi Chi's. Chi Chi Chayas. Chi Chi Chayas. I'm so ready to eat. I'm starving. I only ate one time today. At work, I did not eat breakfast. All I had was this small ass salad that I went to the supermarket to get that did not fulfill my hunger. So this is the chicken at the I chopped it all up. So we have taco cheese, sour cream, shredded lettuce. Let me make my son's plate. 
He wants two tacos. Be needing all of that going sour cream. Make some nice dairy products. Yeah. Cheese, milk, and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. right. if, if he could, he would have the whole damn jar of sour cream on his tacos. All this damn sour cream. You see this? This what you like? Yeah. No, mommy. I did not. I put a lot. Oh, that no, I rubbed it on here. You just don't see, boy. Little... You want cheese and lettuce? Cheese and lettuce? No cheese? No cheese. What would you like on your top? And these are my tacos. At the end of that video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share, share, share my videos like a little hoe around town. And click that link in my description so you guys can go vote for your girl so I can get to round three. Okay? See you next time. Peace. You want to be in my video so bad. <laughs> go with this one. Y'all taste it, man. Cheers. <laughs>